Hey guys, welcome back to the Sax Tuition YouTube channel. My name's Jeremy, and today we're gonna to be taking a deep dive into the soprano saxophone. What does it sound like? Uh, what makes it unique? How does it compare to the other saxophones? And finally, a question that I get asked a lot, is it a good choice for a beginner? Now, before we get into it, if you're just starting out on the saxophone, check out the Sax Tuition Beginner Series. It's a complete package for learning the sax from scratch. And you can check out lesson one right here on YouTube. I've left a link in the description below. So let's get started. So the soprano saxophone is one of the most intriguing members of the saxophone family. And part of that is because it doesn't really look like a normal saxophone. In fact, most people who don't know or haven't seen one of these before get it confused for some kind of a golden clarinet. But did you know that soprano saxophones don't just come in this straight version, they also come in a mini curved version as well. Now, I've personally always thought that the curved soprano sax looks a little bit ridiculous, but it is certainly very cute and eye-catching. Now, the other intriguing thing about the soprano sax is it's actually quite rare to see or hear one out there in the public, except of course, for this guy. Yes, Kenny G, one of the world's most famous saxophone players, possibly the most famous saxophone player, he plays a soprano saxophone. Now, Kenny G, he's kind of a love him or hate him kind of guy. Personally, I'm not a big fan of his music, if I'm telling the truth. But you know what? He seems like he's actually a really down to earth guy who's also not afraid to poke fun of himself every now and then. So whatever you think about him, uh, he's certainly done a lot to bring this instrument into the public spotlight. Now, before I tell you more about this instrument, you're probably just itching to hear it. So let's take a listen. Now, playing the soprano saxophone is a real joy for me. I love this instrument, I love the sound, and best of all, I didn't have to take any extra lessons to learn how to play it. Because, as you may already know, all of the techniques and fingerings for this instrument are exactly the same as every other kind of saxophone. So, if you know how to play the alto, the tenor, or the baritone, you know how to play the soprano. There is, however, one small catch. Everything on the soprano saxophone is just a little bit smaller than what you'd get on an alto saxophone, including, of course, the mouthpiece. Now, what that means is that any small change to your embouchure is really heard in the sound of the instrument, particularly the tuning. Just listen to how easy it is to bend the pitch of the soprano sax with just a small change in the embouchure. What I'm saying here, guys, is that playing this saxophone in tune with a consistent tone means having a really good grounding with your embouchure and your breath support. Meanwhile, the alto and the tenor are much more forgiving in those areas, which is a big reason why most players choose to start on one of those instruments rather than go straight for the soprano. Now, there's also another thing you ought to know about the soprano sax. It really is a solo instrument in almost every sense, meaning that there's very little music written specifically for this instrument. Now, let's take a jazz big band as an example. Most big bands have two altos, two tenors, and a baritone. Occasionally, one of the alto or tenor players 
might double on the soprano for one or two songs, but almost never for an entire concert. In an orchestral setting, finding saxophone parts is usually hard enough, let alone soprano parts, which are even more rare. School concert bands, on the other hand, whilst they almost always have saxophone parts, rarely, if ever, have soprano parts. So what exactly does that leave? Well, it really just leaves small groups, uh, playing in a jazz combo that you start yourself, accompanying a singer in a pop or an R&B or a jazz group, uh, being booked as a soloist with an orchestra if you're a really accomplished classical player. Or like a lot of YouTubers, maybe you could just post a cover of a famous pop song and put it up online. There are options out there, it's just that they are quite a bit more limited than the other saxophones. So what do I think about choosing the soprano sax as a beginner? Well, if you're still in school and you want to have that flexibility of joining different bands while you're there, soprano unfortunately isn't really the best choice. Apart from the fact that your options are going to be quite limited, the added difficulty of starting on the soprano is likely going to hold back your progress a bit. But if, on the other hand, you're an adult, if you absolutely love the sound of this instrument, you've heard the challenges in this video and you still want to give it a go, I say go for it. Maybe you'll find it a bit tougher in the first few months, but if you're not in a hurry to join a band and you're just in it for the joy of learning an instrument, then who cares, right? Finally, I'll just say that to me, playing the soprano sax feels like driving a race car. It's finely tuned. It's a little bit unforgiving in the way that it handles. You know, if you don't have your embouchure set perfectly, it's going to play out of tune. Everything's close together and nimble and agile. But when you get it just right, it really does feel exhilarating to play. So in conclusion, it might sound pretty indulgent, but the soprano sax is usually an instrument that a saxophone player doubles on, just like the famous tenor sax player John Coltrane did when he recorded My Favourite Things. It's something that you can go to when you feel a song just needs something a bit different, or if you want to play something that stands out from the pack. It is a beautiful instrument though, and if you already own an alto or a tenor and you're looking for something a bit different, I cannot recommend the soprano enough. It's a lot of fun. So let me know your thoughts on the soprano sax below. Of course, if you've got any questions about this instrument, leave those as well. If you enjoyed this content, please hit like on the video and subscribe to the Sax Tuition YouTube channel for more great saxophone content. And if you're just starting out on the saxophone and you're looking for a complete package that you can use to learn from home, check out the Sax Tuition Beginner Series. I've put a link in the description below. Well, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all again soon.